now here i am using naviate river extension to detail anything okay so if i click here naviate see after installing your uh, river extension you will be able to use that option or you will get this option here so revit extension i'll click here after that here we are able to create many things actually automatic generation then beam column continuous foundation parapets all pile cap then they have another option piles retaining all slab corners then slab opening then spread footing walls corner walls clear but see they have no option for slab actually so you are able to do it manually i will put that link or that manual detailing and automatic detailing link in description i hope from there you'll be able to do it now first of all in this lecture i am going to show you that how will detailing for our foundation very quickly by using this uh, naviate river extension i'll click here or i'll select a portion to detailing to detail okay now before starting foundation detailing you have to learn something that how much reinforcement you will use in foundation also in column okay because uh, it's required so let's say uh, i will provide especially in column so i will provide in this column i will provide let's say total 8 reinforcement 16 mm 8 reinforcement okay okay fine now i'll go our river extension and must remember you have to select it first after selecting go to river extension and click that option spread footings okay and click here after clicking here you will see they have many options first of all geometry and it will be automatically selected from our that member hmm. now we'll go for bottom river so as our this foundation is eccentric uh, sorry centric that means they have no requirement of top river as per design and if you need top river you can go for it so first of all reinforcement definition where we are going to use the reinforcement so they have option c so what is the meaning of c actually c means clear cover from base to that reinforcement so you can go here and they have some option as per that option you are able to select it okay so i'll go for cast against earth as our foundation are going to casting against earth that means three inch clear cover requirement that means 75 mm so i'm going to use that after that long bar and transfer reinforcement so for long bar see our long bar will be in the bottom layer and what will be the bar size so our long bar will be 16 mm hmm. then our another bar in our short bar that will be also 16 mm after that actually here you can see a, a code already added here if you want to change it materials code you can change it from uh, our setting i will show you another in another lecture so we are providing that reinforcement fine now do you want to use hook that means hook in that side yes we need to use 90 degree standard hook in both side yes now s1 so what is the meaning of s1 so s1 means the reinforcement spacing 
okay so here so what will provide reinforcement spacing for s on in that direction in that direction so i will uh, actually for long direction actually so what will be the reinforcement detailing in long direction i will provide as our uh, structure are long in this direction so i'll provide let's say six things that means 150 mm and sb for shorter direction okay this is actually sl means length and sb means width so uh here One seventy five. That means seven uh, seven inch. Then CL clear cover in that side. Done. And click. Okay. Do not click. Okay. Now we'll go for top river. So if you need top river. You can go for it so as uh, in this section or in this footing no need top river as per design so i'm not going to use it now the most important uh is up in the fire so we'll use easter up here yes we'll use easter up here and which types of easter up we're going to use we'll use these types of easter up here and size of easter up that will be 10 mm 10 mm is still up okay fine now uh here the is still up hook so hook will be 135 degree and also this one is still up or my tie says me hmm, that same and what will be the spacing of that is still up let's say 4 inch or 3 inch so i will consider it will be 3 inch that means uh, or 4 inch let's say 100 mm done and uh clear cover so what will be the clear cover we'll consider clear cover 40 mm for it actually why because uh, i did not draw any column of the above and uh, below grade beam so uh, below grade beam will increase 1.5 inch 1.5 inch extension of all site right for our clear cover so overall 3 inch will be extend uh, our size will be extent of our column below grade beam so i will not consider that i will uh, consider uh, 40 mm for it now done and uh, this is for a strap and have the dual bar so i have told you that we will use we will use reinforcement we will use total six reinforcement in our column okay 16 mm six reinforcement so i will use dual bar here done and it will be 16 mm sorry 16 mm then uh hook will you provide hook in top and bottom let's say if we provide hook in bottom then it will get a hook here okay so i will not use hook in bottom right now i will use anchorage so number of bar in bottom what will be the number of bar so number of bar will be let's let's say here it's giving three and one in uh, in b it's showing three and in l it's showing one so uh, number of bar in b that means in the direction of b in that direction actually in that direction will provide three okay in that direction three and in that direction one so what will be if we provide uh, reinforcement in nb3 so it will give total 
3D reinforcement in NV and in NL in that direction it will provide us one reinforcement in middle so let's say what happened done everything is okay and in dual bar i'll not provide that extension actually here you're seeing they have extension above footing so i'll not use that extension and why i'll tell you later so i'll give a zero hmm. and in footing obviously we'll, we'll provide in footing we'll provide lf in that extension i'll provide 24 pi and uh, if you have another uh, method to calculate it you're also able to calculate it as per your code and dual type which types of dual you want to use so i'll use this one they have three options i'll use this one and click ok and it's generating wait for some time see it's done now if if you see here in this column we have a uh, three river in that direction and also here on river clear and here we are getting extension in every uh, in each side how we create section or anything i'll show you later if you click here sorry it'll go wireframe type and if you go to wireframe type you will see our that river are in footing river have extend till this point okay so uh it's done and here if you uh, watch it from top you'll be able to see it now actually i will i will uh, modify it and we'll done everything later no problem so actually if you go in level one and come here wireframe see we are seeing everything here clear now i will go to 3d again i will go for let's say shed it and here it's okay now i'll go for okay let's again click here and click here and click modify and you know dual bar if i provide one river here and three river here okay see uh, in nb in nb we are not able to provide less than two river so that means we'll get a reinforcement here and here and here okay and if we provide reinforcement in ln that means between that nb and nv it will create so i'll provide two reinforcement here two reinforcement here let's say now how much so if you provide reinforcement nb in two that means you will get uh, two reinforcement in that direction in width and that uh and uh two reinforcement in that direction so let's see what happened and then go click ok it's modifying now see here two reinforcement in this direction and two reinforcement in that direction and if we go in level one you can see here two reinforcement and here two reinforcement clear so in this way we are able to do reinforcement detailing for our footing no now in our next lecture i'll go for the reinforcement detailing for our columns so thank you thank you very much